Can I help? <coughs> Dark Descent Girl. My name is John Carruthers. And I'm going to do derivation of Pistelli's Law and Laminar Flow. No. The velocity profile in Laminar Flow is a problem. And what causes that flow is a force. We'll call that pushing force. And that's going to be equal to the difference in pressure times the area. So P1 minus P2. And then the area of this pi r squared. And then the force that's pushing against the flow is called fr. And that is going to be equal to the negative of the viscosity times the area, the circumference, times the length of the pipe. So that's going to be 2 pi r times length. And then that's going to be multiplied by the differential of velocity and then differential of little r. Now, in steady state, pushing force is equal to fr. So we simply just set these equal to each other. P1, P2, pi r squared equal negative 2 pi r length. V, r. And now we're going to solve for a differential and then separate the differential equations and integrate to get for, for the vo velocity. So dv, r, p1, p2, pi r squared, bring this out, negative viscosity, 2 pi r times l. We have some units cancel, pi r, and we're left with negative p1, p2 times r over viscosity to L. And now we'll separate it and integrate. So we're sure what velocity, so it's a negative. Actually, I'm going to take this negative and leave it on the other side. P1 minus P2, put the R out here, 2L, and then the dr came up over here. And then we integrate, and since these are all constant, we'll give it outside the integral. So we're going to integrate from 0 to velocity, and then 0 to our little r. And that's going to be negative velocity is equal to P1. P2, 2, viscosity, L, and then 1 half R squared plus C. Simplified, we'll take this. Velocity is equal to negative P1, P2, L. We'll multiply these. We get 4 R squared plus C. Now, how we solve for the con or the C right here. We have an initial condition at the big R. Against the wall, the velocity is zero. Velocity equals zero because of no slip condition. So we'll use that to solve for the C. So we'll input zero is equal to negative P1, P2, four, and we'll input big R into here, plus C, and then we'll solve for C. C is equal to P1 minus P2 for L, R squared. Now we input this into this equation right here. Yeah, into this equation, we can get V is equal to negative P1, P2 over 4 L little r squared plus C. P1, P2, 4 L, big R squared. Now we just simplify. Of course, P1 
minus P2. For L. And then R squared minus 1 of R. Now, this is the velocity profile. And we know it's a parabola because our, our variable is squared. So, so 